cover-up of a cover-up of a cover-up of a cover-up that just is a never-ending spiral downwards. guys, it's Minty Monday, and that means a new video with my face in it. Today I'm talking about cover-up tattoos and the process to go about it. I'm going to slide off to the side here because I'm going to have examples of my work and cover-ups so you guys can kind of see what I do as cover-ups and to give you guys maybe some ideas. First thing, when I go about a cover-up, before I get into the true tips of it, and I think all artists should do this, but this is just my opinion, I try and go about a cover-up like it's not a cover-up. And I say that because when you go about a cover-up, knowing that it's a cover-up, you're going to color it and shade it and do all this other stuff like it's a cover-up, and it can get dark and muddy real fast. Whereas if you look at it and design it to where you know it's a cover-up, but you go about it, color it and shade it like it's not a cover-up, you can always add and adjust things as you go rather than just go, 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 go. But that's just my opinion. That's kind of what I do with cover-ups. But anyways, let's get into it. The first thing with cover-ups is you gotta think of your design, what you wanna cover up. You wanna keep in mind that you wanna be more open about what you want. You know, there's certain things that work. Roses are always a good cover-up, skulls are a good cover-up, animals are a good cover-up, nature, things essentially with a lot of textures and things going on. And I say things going on where it's, you don't want it to be super crazy busy where there's too many things going on and your eyes just all over the place because then again it can get crowded and muddy but busy in the sense of you know there's textures going different ways and fabrics and this and that to distract your eye from the initial cover-up and then the next thing you want to think of is you want to think of color versus black and gray now i always suggest or almost always suggest color over black and gray for cover-ups in the end and the reason that is, is if you do a black and gray cover-up and you want to cover up something with color, it's not going to cover it unless you put solid black over it. Anything that you use black and gray to cover up, to use as a cover-up, unless you are using solid black, you are going to see right through that. Because essentially when you do black and gray, you dilute the black ink or the ink is diluted, whatever, there's different brands and different ways people do it, but it essentially makes it transparent. It's kind of like when you take a flavor packet and you put it in a water bottle. And you, if you just pour a little bit in there and you shake it up, it's going to be really dull and diluted and transparent. But if you put that full packet in there and you shake it up real well, it's going to be nice and mixed. And it's going to have more of those molecules that are going to be together, like in color tattoos, to help cover up the tattoo, if that makes sense. Now, when it comes to colors, not all colors are great cover-up colors. Some of the better cover-up colors are blue, purple, greens, and grays. But, I know I just said grays don't work. I'm not talking like shaded, diluted black, black and gray. I'm talking actual opaque colored grays. Like, if you look at a wall and it's painted gray, like that kind of gray. And the reason that works is it's opaque. It's thicker pigment. It's not using the shaded grays. And on the other spectrum, colors that don't really work all that well are reds, oranges, yellows. The, even though the, it's the same pigment, you know, molecules and all that stuff. I know I'm using molecules and I'm going crazy with the scientific side of it, even though I might not be using the right words. But anyways, you guys, it makes sense to me. Hopefully you. But reds and yellows and oranges tend to heal a little more transparent than blues, purples, and greens. And so if you take solid red or even worse, yellow or orange and try and go over solid black, that's gonna that black's gonna show through and it's gonna make that color look muddy. And like people don't know this, but if you mix black and yellow, it turns green. So if you put yellow over black and that black starts to show through, it's gonna turn that yellow a nasty ugly green so that's one thing that you want to keep in mind so the next tip that i would talk about is the size now a lot of times i get people all the time that you know they want to cut they have a cover up that's this big something small they got when they were young and dumb and they want to cover it but they only want to go this big and it's like it, some cases it could work 
Most cases it doesn't. General rule of thumb is you want to go two to three times bigger than the original tattoo that you want to cover up. The bigger you go, the better it's going to be. And the reason that is, is it's, it's trying to take something and distract your eye away from something that could be essentially have to be almost solid black. And if you only add a little bit on top of that, it's just going to turn muddy real fast. Where if you do something this big and you have a little black area down here, or solid, not solid black, but a darker area down here, you can have enough to transition into a light area to where it'll make sense. I don't know if that helps you guys or understand, but I'll, I'll give you a quick example. Rose bushes. I know I talk about roses a lot, but they work great. So say you got something this big. You know, it could be an old rose. We'll say an old 90s rose. I know a lot of people got them. I've covered them on a regular. And then you do a big rose bush around it. So now you can take that one and maybe make that like a purple rose or a blue rose. And it's okay if it's a little darker. And then each rose around it, you can do dark and light and do whatever to distract your eye away from just that darker side of it. Whereas if you did something this big and then it did a rose this big on top of it, that doesn't leave you many much space on the outside to get that light in, so it's just going to be a dark mess in the end. And that's one thing you don't want. Another thing about cover-ups, too, is cover-ups tend to cost more. And the reason that is, is it takes more time, it takes more effort, and just overall, in the end, it takes, it, it takes longer to do. There's more work that goes into a cover-up. It's not just, let's stick a stencil on you, outline it, shade it, color it, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. There's ingenuity in it, and, and the more ingenuity that you put into it, the better and the more it won't look like a cover-up in most cases. So they tend to cost more in the end. And on to so the cost more, the other thing that it's going to be more is it's going to hurt a lot more most times. Not necessarily a lot more, but it's going to hurt more. And the reason that is, is the old tattoo is a bunch of scar tissue. Essentially, you just got to think like, well, use a name example. You got it five years ago, your ex's name, and you, you wish you didn't do it, but you got it. And then they, that entire line, maybe the person wasn't that good of a tattoo artist, or maybe your skin just racked it, or just scar tissue happens, and it's and that's underneath the skin. Essentially, you're going over that again and re-going over that and re-going over that, especially in a cover-up when you have to layer it on there and layer it on there. But essentially, you're going over something that was already hurt before or something that's going to hurt more because there's just that scar tissue. And another thing with the scar tissue, too, is you might do an execute or you might have a perfectly executed cover-up, but you still can see the old one. You won't be able to actually see the ink, but you'll be able to see the outline of it. In most cases, it's the outline. And that's because the tattoo is freshly done and all that scar tissue underneath it is aggravated and swollen. And in most cases, that goes away. Unless it's super bad scar, you'll always kind of have that 3D effect of the old one. But there'll be enough color or shading or whatever to go around it to distract from it. But just keep in mind that that's something that kind of happens when it's freshly done. So essentially, when it comes to getting a cover-up tattoo, you want to think... You want to be more open with your design but know and understand and listen to what will work. Go do some Google research of cover-up tattoos and be honest and look at it and see, like, oh, this can work, this can't work, and listen to the artist. You know, me, I, I have people come to me, and I've done some pretty crazy cover-ups, and I'm sure you guys will see over here that people, I've had, I mean, you get people all the time say, oh, no, I'm not going to do it, or I can't do it, and that's generally because they can't do it. They don't know how to do it. There's been maybe one or two tattoos my entire career where I've been like, yeah, there's nothing I can really do. You got to get that lasered, especially with what you want done. Laser is the only option. But just go in there, listen to the artist, talk to the person, make sure they do cover-ups. That's important. Portfolios, heel tattoos if they got them, just check it out. And yeah, I mean, that's the process of getting it. You know, if you got any other questions, comment below about cover-ups. If you need ideas, other ideas for cover-ups, you can always email me. My email is in the profile. Or email me on my other social media networks at The Art of Jane Asuka on Facebook or Instagram. Or, you know, I, I'll help you out as I can. But just comment below. Let me know what you guys think. If What else, what other tattoo topics do you guys want to know? Let me know. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys learned some stuff. Yeah.
don't make bad choices. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a cover-up of a cover-up of a cover-up of a cover-up that just is a never-ending spiral downwards. Yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Appreciate it. Let's get out of here. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's content. Please be sure to follow me on my other social media networks, Art of Jane Asuka on Facebook, and guessed it, Art of Jane Asuka on Instagram. Thanks for watching Minty TV. It means the world. Be sure to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. It means the world to me. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Push yourselves and you can do it. Thank you guys.